hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i will briefly discuss about optical instruments in the optical instrument there are two different types of lenses are used one is known as convex lens and other is known as concave lens in order to understand the behavior of the optical instrument by using the convex lens or concave lens we need to understand by using some examples the examples will start from the convex lens in the convex lens when light source is present in front of the convex lens it emits uh, all the inf all the radiation or radiation of light in all direction so in order to understand all the for example all the waves are traveling in the one direction and uh, interacting with the lens in straight line after interacting it, it converges to the one point these uh, this is the property of the convex lens all the waves coming to any direction will converge to the or focus to the one point this is a property of convex lens but in the pro in the property of the concave lens all the uh, directions or all the waves disperse from pa after passing through the concave lens this is a basic property of the concave lens and uh, we need to understand the properties and characteristics of the convex lens and concave lens respectively for example when rays of light passes through the convex lens the image produced uh, which is real inverted and magnified image after passing through the convex lens but in case of concave lens we will see that what type of characteristics of the image can be produced after passing through the concave lens this these are the basic properties and characteristics of the convex lens and concave lens based on these properties we use to uh, define or we use to design the optical instrument in order to understand the application of these optical instruments according to their properties as i as i have already discussed that the concave lens has a property of characteristics is uh, inverted erect or uh, imaginary image can be formed from the concave lens these are basic properties and furthermore i will discuss about all the examples related to convex lens and concave lens for example as you have seen that the convex lens is present and we will place an e object in, in between f and 2f in front of the convex lens and the uh, convex lens when ray of light pass through to the convex lens related to the object then the uh, one of the line passes through the focus and the uh, because it, when f ray of light passes through the corner of the convex lens it passes through the focus but when the ray of light passes through the central point or the imaginary uh, or the uh, uh, original point or origin of the convex lens it passes is come to the straight line so the image can be formed after 2f because this is a property when object is placed between f and 2f the ima image will be formed as you have seen that the image is uh, erect is it is not erected it is inverted so uh, as you have seen the size of the object and size of the image size of the object is very small but the size of image is very large so the properties of the convex lens hold which which means that mag it image is magnified which is inverted and image will be real and which it will, will be away from 2f another property of the convex lens is that as much as the object is moved toward the convex lens all the properties hold same but the uh, image will also be uh, produced after the or away from the 2f and the magnified image can also be seen so the property will hold magnified inverted and real image can be produced from the convex lens this is a basic property and the basic characteristics of the convex lens after using this in other words i will also discuss about the magnification of this convex lens how much uh, times the image can be um, magnified uh, related to the object after using the convex lens because we need to understand their magnification in order to produce some application or in order to design some application or real world application so the magnification is defined as the ratio of the size of image to the size of object this is the basic property of the convex lens or magnification formula of the convex lens it means that when the size of the image is very large uh, for example the size of image is 10 and size of object is 2 if we divide this the magnification will be 5 it means that 
फाइव टाइम्स इमेज इज फॉर्म्ड रिलेटेड टू दी ऑब्जेक्ट आफ्टर यूजिंग दी कन्वेक्स लेंस वैन ऑब्जेक्ट इज प्लेस्ड इन फ्रंट ऑफ दी कन्वेक्स लेंस दी मैग्निफिकेशन फार्मूला इज दैट साइज ऑफ इमेज और टू दी साइज ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट दिस इज ए फाइनल प्रॉपर्टी और दिस इज ए बेसिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ दी कन्वेक्स लेंस आफ्टर यूजिंग दिस इन अदर वर्ड्स आई विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट दे आर मैग्नीफाइंग पावर वट इज द मैग्नीफाइंग पावर of the convex lens because in this chapter all the examples have been given related to convex lens because most of the uh, applications have been used the convex lens like camera like oscilloscope like uh, telescope all the you all the uh, instruments or optical instrument are using the convex lens in this as you seen that the uh, x uh, uh, as the Uh, convex lens is placed in front of the eye and object is placed after passing through the sunlight image is formed as you have seen the properties the image is erect it is real and it is magnified these are the properties and these properties can also be asked in the entry test and board exam in the mcqs because these are uh, you can be confused after uh, ha after having uh, a lack of visual explanation that how the image is formed erect real and magnified so in this case you have uh, understand that the one is object and other is image uh, the angle between the eye piece and the object or the lens is known as theta e or theta o theta o is the angle of the object produced and theta i is the angle of the image produced so the magnifying power so magnifying power has a formula of ratio of the image of the object ratio of the angle of the image theta i to the uh, angle of object or theta o after using the lens or mag uh, convex lens this is known as magnifying power and this magnifying power is very helpful in order to understand the uh, location or presentation representation of the image and object this magnifying power is very helpful and magnifying power is a ratio of theta i over theta o and up till now i have i have discussed about uh, application of the uh, images and applications of the convex lens and concave lens and in other words i have also discussed about their optical instruments how magnifying power and how magnification has a effective component uh, related to the Uh, optical instruments and uh, up till now we have finished that if you have any question you can contact me at my email address and if you have uh, further question we will see you in the next video bye bye